Hello and welcome to Lime Rock Park. We are in the Formula V. And this is a car that I don't always feature a lot on the channel anymore because I've done just about every track <laughs> that you can do with the V on here. Uh, though there have been some exceptions lately as the V went to, of course, VIR, which became free not long ago. And uh, I've started bringing it back a little bit because there's no other place to find the V on iRacing. There's no advanced V series or anything, so um, if you're not going to see it anywhere else, might as well give it a run once in a while. And uh, it's been about a year since the last time I showed this combo, so um, seems like it's about time. Unfortunately, this place can get a little bit drafty, <laughs> so to speak. Um, a lot of times you can't really escape from anybody, but that also can make for some pretty exciting racing, so should be some uh, some fun to be had, at least for a viewer, and uh, we'll see what we can do and what happens here for me as well. Hopefully nothing too frustrating as we get put three wide probably at some point, <laughs> but is what it is. Okay, just gonna spin it, that's cool. <sighs> well, I prevented it out of control at least. I just got in there too hot on the cold tires. Um, I didn't have that trouble in practice. I just, I guess I just pushed it a tiny bit too much, but that's okay. We'll come around and uh, get it right next time. Give me a little bit more practice, I guess. This, of course, is like the toughest part on the circuit there, that little chicane. Gotta make sure you hit that right, because it carries your momentum basically all the way through to the start-finish line. Alright, let's, uh, let's actually get a lap that counts. How about that? That sounds great. I had my, uh, one of my closest ever finishes here. Uh, of any race I've done. Um, speaking of exciting racing, it was uh, the V's here at Lime Rock, and you know, I think I was the one catching up in the draft. And I just barely, by the tip of my Formula V's nose, just barely missed out on a win. It was like 0 .001 seconds or something like that. So that was pretty crazy. And uh, that's what you can kind of come to expect with this, because you've always got you always got someone, it seems like, following into the final, uh, final corner here and then trying to get a run, drafting up behind them. But I think most of the race, if we're not able to break away or anything, it's going to be just putting ourselves in a good, safe position so we can make it to the end. Chicken One, four, play. four. Chicken I can do better than that, but uh, I'll take it. I think my best in practice was a 104.0. But at least I got a lap in. Because the uh, first one was not great. Got to make sure I don't do that in the race. So let's see. Still got some people going. Oh man, we got someone that's not here. There's always one person, man. Always one person that's not here, making us wait the whole time. Oh well. We have lost the poll. Yeah, I knew that wasn't going to be good enough. I definitely needed like an, uh, a point O, I think, if I wanted the poll. But that might have been tough to reach. You really just have to hit your marks pretty much perfectly to get that done, so... I don't know if I was ever going to get a point one. Um, I could have hoped for maybe a point two or something, a couple tenths lower, but it looks like point four is doing me, uh, doing an okay job for me, at least for now. Uh, the two is completed, so he's going to be P4 or lower. Leading on the five and the eight. Have they done any laps at all? Does not look like it. 
I wish I could show you guys the, my first attempt at chicane that first lap. I can't believe I managed to get a time. <laughs> the two has had an interesting qualifying, it sounds like. He managed to get a turn, though, and not even get an off track, unlike uh, me spinning out on turn one. Let's go look at that, though, since we have time. Um, watch me at least prevent it from being a uh, out of control. I actually can't believe I was able to not have the thing spin out. Yeah, that got pretty sideways. You can see, like, initially, it breaks loose right there. And if I keep turning like I was, I'm going to spin. So I have to do just the finest of fixes to try to fix it. But unfortunately, I just overcorrected it a little bit. And then it breaks loose again. So I tried my best to keep it together. But it got so sideways. And then you can see I turn my wheel, like, all the way to the left. And somehow it prevents the thing from looping completely, and I can just keep it into the grass. So, I mean, that means pretty much nothing in the in this grand scheme of things. Because we're in qualifying, and that's, what, half of what you would normally get from a 1x? Something like that? Is it like one-fourth or something? I don't remember. But it's... Wow, why is my quality bad? Uh-oh. Go away. Stop that. You good? Oh. But so that's like nothing. It's like a 1x difference divided by like 2 or divided by 4 or something. So it's nothing. But um, I guess uh, at least I was able to keep it going. Not break the car or anything either. So the five finally gets a lap in. So he's out there, I guess. The eight looks like he spun the first lap. Maybe he's trying for a second one. Not sure. But they've only got 40 more seconds. So if they want to try to get a better lap here, gonna have to get it done soon. But with the draft, I feel like anybody in this range could probably keep up. Pretty much anyone, probably, as long as they keep it smooth and find the draft. Big Key is going to be not spinning in turn one. <laughs> Looking at me. And then, uh, you know, keeping it on track, staying in the draft, and then being there at the end. Um, so then you can make some moves, maybe. You're going to see plenty of three wide entering turn one, probably, because everybody gets the draft and then they want to make the pass. I'm not going to participate in that until later in the race. Because uh, even if you pass someone, it's not going to change anything. You're just going to get caught with the draft and it's going to happen again the next lap. You're going to be three wide again. So really, you're just taking a risk for no reason, in my opinion. And a lot of times I'll just wait back there. They'll like all three crash each other out and then suddenly I'm in a really good spot. So we'll see uh, if that happens here. But I just I don't see any reason to fight for a spot. Just staying in the draft seems to be a good plan, at least until the last yeah, two laps. I remember Nam and oh, the so of the engines. Was horrible, horrible. I don't know what this guy's talking about. <laughs> We, uh, getting ready here. I don't know. I don't think we have to wait for that guy that wasn't here when gridding up. I think that's only waiting for qualifying, so hopefully we can get going soon. When I get a good launch, normally what I do when I get a launch, I'll do about 6,500 RPM, so I don't spin the tires too much. That seems to work for me. That's usually where I shift as well, about 6,500. A lot of people will, like, let it go higher than that, but I've noticed that once you shift it kind of breaks your momentum a little bit more, it seems like. I don't know. That's just what I've experienced in my uh, my time racing this thing. I could be wrong. But uh, we'll see if we can keep it in the 104s consistently. Probably faster than that with the draft. 
that needs to stop. I don't want to see that queue. Are we like, maybe we're in a different server or something and that's what's causing that. I don't know. Well, we're getting started here, looks like. P2, 12. All right. Eight. About 6,500. Okay, Colton, get ready. Go, go, go. Green, green, green. All right, it's gonna work. Got uh, people starting a lot slower behind us. It's gonna keep it smooth, not spin this thing out, follow this guy. Okay. Don't normally shift here, but I will since I have draft. Now this is gonna be tricky on cold tires. Gotta make sure I get this right. Okay, got it. I always aim for that the apex of that first part of the chicane. And so long as my right sides get on that, it seems to do me uh, pretty well. I'm not going to fight this guy. Uh, I'm going to do everything I can to try to break away if possible. I don't think that's going to happen. Maybe from whoever's in P4 right now, but it's not going to happen with the two car. He's already catching up. But I see no reason to fight right now. Not at all. He likes using that curb, it looks like. Okay, tires are feeling a little bit better now, so I don't have to be quite as nervous about it. I've had some people already have issues, it looks like, people leaving. Ugh, he's real slow through here. About died. Right side. Threw me off. So I had to get on the brakes harder. I'm gonna let him go. Clear. Just getting into the draft. Oh, Colton. Come on, mate. Defend your position. Ten minutes remaining. Ten minutes. Probably should have just given the leader a little bit more room there instead of trying to drive through fast. But we're still obviously right here. We're gonna catch up because of draft. No concerns. Lots of time left too. Just done a 104.9. The guy behind has just done a 104.5. Follow the leader for now. That's all this is. Let's take this a little bit better this time. Yeah, that'll work. And we'll uh, catch right back up to this leader here, probably before we even get to uh, turn one. Because we're just drafting this whole way. Yeah, you can see it's a super speedway. Road course super speedway. <laughs> you are tenth off the pace in sector one. Sector two time is good. Sector no real reason to try to pass someone there. Car ahead has just done a 103.9. Oh, okay, easy now. I got off the throttle a little bit too much and it got sideways. Just a bit. Thankfully I was able to catch that. Still here. Got three seconds behind, so it looks like it's going to be a three car race so long as we all keep it together. Maybe these two will fight each other and then uh, wreck each other out. And then I'll get the victory. Is uh, the two going to be aggressive? Yep, he's going to go for the pass immediately. So they are going to fight, it looks like, unless the uh, leader just gives it to him. We'll see if they uh, do a back and forth. Very interesting. Let's 
Still seven minutes, still a long time. Get through here much faster. So just have to ease off of it, that's fine. I trust that he'll be able to catch back up to him here. He's still only half a second behind. Again, he's gonna catch him just like before we even get to the next corner, um, to the first corner anyway. Is he gonna attempt to pass? Yes, he is. Very interesting. Okay. Oh, Jesus. You gotta warn me if you're gonna do that. Good lord. <laughs> He's backing off, but I'm right behind him. I'm glad I noticed in time. No brake lights on this thing. So interesting that the two went, went to make the, make the pass and then uh, decided not to fight for it later. But I think uh, everyone might understand that no one's going to be able to get away. We're just biding our time here, trying to be consistent. Okay, the two has decided to ride in line. P3. Very interesting, okay. A little disappointing, I wanted to see if maybe they would wreck each other out. <laughs> but, um, we'll have to earn it. Five minutes to go. That's important to keep an eye on so I know when I need to start moving. We are coming up on lap traffic. That's interesting. That could make things... Hmm. Make things a little different. Depending on how draft works out. This is why, unfortunately, you kind of have to have real small tracks with the V, preferably, because otherwise you just get these draft vests. You can't break away from anybody, and so there's no reason trying, really. So you end up kind of like in these a little bit boring situations where you just kind of have to be patient, but it's, it's smart racing. Doing what you have to do. Three minutes, one minute laps. I'll have to carefully consider when I decide to make my move. Definitely don't want to be the first person to meet this lap car just in case. Never know what you're gonna get. Ooh. Pretty dangerous. He's not just pulling over. He's cutting in front of him. This is kind of scary. And he takes him out. That's terrible. That's pretty bad. Yikes, yikes, yikes. You've got one gun Sorry for my language. Sorry to see the number three. That was not fair at all for you. 
I don't know if he speaks English or not. Um, I don't think he's from an English-speaking country, but that really sucks. <sighs> he didn't deserve that at all. I am so sorry, you. Well, it is now a two-car battle. And it is just about time for me to make my move as well. Because we are going to be coming to the white flag, potentially. Get through there better than him. Don't want to make my move here, though. You've used half your fuel. Actually want to get a run. And then make a move into turn one. Going for it. Still there. Clear on the left. All right, Colton. We're matching race pace. You're leading. Thought that was at 104.2. Well, we'll see if we can break away. Not likely, but we'll try. Well, at least want enough distance that we could potentially uh, avoid him overtaking me on the last lap with draft. Gonna keep in third, since I have no draft help at the moment. Do I get through there better than he does there? Think you got me. Uh, We'll see, that draft is going to bring you right back. What flag, what flag? Hmm. Car right. Still there. I need Oops, one don't drive in there. The okay, you are the leader. Stank. Clear. You're now in the lead. Your last lap time was at right 104.5. Clear. Keep it. Is he going to try and move here? This would be a dangerous place to do it, but... Oh, that was a good one. I needed that. I really needed that. He got it good, too, though. <laughs> He's got it. He's got it. Still there, hold <sighs> Good way, Anna. You really want to be P2 here, I think, on the last lap. The flag. It's over. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, pretty, pretty much the deal. deal. Great job. You did really well. A couple guys do uh, throttle, throttle checks and shit, but, you know, like, you know, you know that's, that's what you got to do. That's 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 <laughs> Good win, though. Well done. Be just, 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 just over three. three. Still three, oh yeah, <laughs> on the time. So it was a good race. Uh, we did what we needed to do. I told you we'd get a close finish. That's just kind of how it works here. So it's kind of, it's pretty exciting for viewers. I thought maybe I would be able to hit that uh, chicane really well and maybe get a little bit of distance and it would be enough. I think I might have overthought it a little bit trying to break his draft and maybe that just broke my momentum more. But I just, I knew I was in a bad spot as soon as he made it through here pretty well. Like he, uh, when the race slips. Sorry. Uh huh? No, in the race. I'm not sure why he's saying that to me. I'm confused. Did he mean to send that to the three? I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> oh, I think maybe he meant to send that to the three. So, um, 
we'll see. We'll get a look at what happened there. Um, hmm. Maybe, uh, maybe it wasn't the lap car. Maybe he got in the back of the three. I don't know. That was a weird thing. I don't understand why he said that, but. <laughs> so we got lap one, tires are cold. I didn't get the uh, angle right yet. Yeah, tires are cold. He goes in there a little hot. Just spins it around. A couple people, unfortunately, got tagged as well. A little bit of a parking lot here. So, uh, later in the lap. Oh, that was kind of strange, actually. Is he lifting off hard here? I'm not sure. He gets absolutely destroyed from behind, though. I'm thinking, like, okay, he had a slowdown he had to get rid of, maybe, from that. Or maybe he's broken to some degree. Regardless, the result is this guy just totally running through him. Not even trying to go around him, it looked like. But maybe he didn't expect him to be so off pace right there. Just gets in the back of him, and then that takes out four plus people. Yeah, at least four. That's a rough first lap for a lot of guys. Two big crashes. Then fast forward all the way to lap eight. So this was a bookended race. A five, that sucks. He's from fifth place. He just gets the uh, turtle right there. Excuse me. And the guy behind kind of finished him off without having much of a choice in the matter. Uh, six overdrives it. That looked kind of like me in qualifying. He does a nice spin and gets it back the right direction, though. That was kind of cool. Wow, that guy not only took you into out, he just, like, speared him. He probably would have killed him in real life. <laughs> yeah, that was rough. I thought it, there was going to be trouble as soon as he didn't kind of just pull over and let us on by. And then we ended up in that chicane, and it just went all downhill. If you if you watch it from you know camera, it's just heartbreaking. I swear to God. Like you hear about this, you know, the back marker taking out the leader, but it really doesn't happen that often, man. Hmm. Yeah, that really stinks watching it from his view. You could see he tried to give him all the room and he just spun right over. I mean, I think the thing is this guy was just trying to drive over his head to stay in front of the guys. Like, he's probably thinking, like, oh my god, we got all the fast guys behind us. I gotta go through here quick, or else they're gonna run me over. And so he just drives a little bit beyond his uh, capability and then crashes it. I'm thinking, like, he probably should have just pulled over let us go a long time ago. Like, we've got, we've got a lot of distance right here. I can kind of understand why he didn't do it there. I mean, we're catching so quick, though. I'm thinking, like, we get around this quarter, maybe he should have just pulled it off here. You know, somewhere you know people aren't going to be racing, probably just let off right here. You know, let everyone go by on the inside, and then you've got a huge gap, huge gap to fourth place. So if he had just done that, it would have been just fine, but he decides to keep in it, and then it, that's immediately when it went wrong, so... Um, he would probably do it differently in the future, I think. I'm sure he didn't want to do that. I'm sure he feel, feels pretty bad about it, because he left immediately after. No one wants to be that guy. So that's really unfortunate. Was, he, was the three able to pull it back? He still got a third place. So that's good for him. He still was able to pull it into P3. He got it going. And uh, that was the last incident of the race, so... Um, we avoided the, the chicken streakers, chicken streakerage, <laughs> and, uh, I did say I didn't want to be the first person to meet that lap traffic, and that's exactly why. So, uh, we will pull into a P2, a pretty exciting finish, um, but it, that's kind of just how it goes here, um, with this combo. 
Um, but hopefully it was fun to watch. I hope you enjoyed. We didn't quite get the win, but uh, we can we can take a look at it. We can take a look at uh, how close it was and uh, kind of what I was doing there. Like I was just trying to break the draft any opportunity I could there at the end. Um, come on. Yeah, right here. So I was like doing everything I could, like staying low right there. Just, you know, it's probably just hurting myself doing all that. Probably should have just driven through it, but like, I don't know. Hard to say. I'm probably getting past either way. I kind of like chose like a middle line to hopefully make him hesitate. You know, don't want to like just go out wide like normal maybe and give him an easy path. It kind of almost worked because you can see he follows behind me and he has to like be indecisive about where to go. That helped me have a little bit better of a chance, but at this point he's got it. And uh, no, there's not going to be any side draft or anything. All that's going to happen here if I try to side draft is net code. <laughs> so uh, not much I can do at this point. Like I said, probably want to be P2 coming to the line, potentially. But I gave it my best shot. We get P2. That's not bad at all. Um, he did what he needed to do, and he got it done. So uh, we also had ourselves a clean race. That's all good, good stuff. So thanks for watching. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just realized all the incidents lower in the field. Good lord. They had a rough one. Just everybody else had a rough one, apparently. Except for four. Good job, four. Who didn't show up at all and didn't do any laps. That explains it. So me and the two are the only ones that didn't have any incidents. Kind of crazy. All right. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. <laughs> that was Formula V at Lime Rock Park. And a uh, pretty close finish. Hopefully it was exciting. Uh, appreciate you. See you next time.